good to see you. Yes, we're going to have a good talk today about safety, especially answering the door, okay? Hello, everyone. Welcome to Life with Charlene. Today, I am so happy you guys stopped by. Thanks for coming in. We are going to be talking about safety. And this is during any time, but especially during the holiday season. We're out shopping, we're getting packages delivered, and we're really not thinking about somebody harming us or doing something to us during this time because we're really into the holiday spirit and we're hoping everybody else is, but some people, they're just looking for that quick opportunity. So I have a couple of things that have happened to me and it just made me think I should share what's going on. So one day, um, I heard a knock at my door. I looked out the window and I saw a man standing at my door. He had on one of those reflective jackets. It was um, orange and yellow and with the reflective tape stuff on it. I didn't see any papers or anything in his hand any or anything like that. So I asked him, I said, who is it? He said, I'm from DTE, which is our Detroit um, Edison whatever electricity so um i said what can i help you with he said well i need to come in to check your electricity we send you sent you three notices and first of all we don't have any meters in our homes i live in a mobile home our meters are outside so that right there gave me a, a thought like So I said, um, what address are you looking for? He said, this address. I said, what is this address? He said, let me check. I mean, he was sound like he was getting annoyed, but the way he knocked was like this. That's one of those type of knocks that we hear when it's somebody we know, right? Well, I didn't know this guy. And from what I recall, which I didn't really pay attention to, I didn't see a truck or anything out there. It was dark. It was around 8.30, between 8.30 and 9 o'clock. So right there, that was a, a flag to say, hey, we, I got to be careful. It's nobody I'm expecting at this time. And um, so anyway, he, he checks his paper or whatever he was checking. And so what I think he did, because when I look at my address, it looks like it says 50. But my address is 5. So he says, it's 5-0. I said, you're at the wrong address. He was like, oh, okay. So he left. Which I should have kind of peeked out to see how did he leave, which way did he go, I didn't. I just thought to myself, that was odd. So the next day I checked to see if there were any number 50s on my street, any addresses that were 50. No, our addresses go up to 36. So that just scared the heebie-jeebies out of me. And um, I went to our office and I let them know what was going on and that some guy was, you know, out here you know, acting like he was Detroit Edison, our electric company. And so anyway, she said, just next time that happens, just call the police straight up. Just call the police because nobody should be knocking at your door that late at night. So, you know, that that was just something that just made me go, wow, I have to really, really be aware. Because normally I'll just grab the door open, like, you know, not thinking, thinking of somebody, a neighbor or something. Even though, well, I did look, for some reason, I did look out the window. But anyway, I had another incident happen to me. And this was a couple of years ago, though, now. I was shopping, and um, as I was shopping, I noticed a guy every time I went down an aisle. So I started just going down random aisles, and every time I'd look up, he was at the aisle, you know. So I said, okay, I'm going to go to the whole other side of the store. So as I'm going to the other side of the store, he comes walking up where we faced each other, you know, going through an aisle. And I'm like, this is scary. So um, I went, I had just gone, it was a pharmacy in the store, and I had just come from the pharmacy with my medication. 
So I went back to the pharmacy and I said, can I get a security to walk me out? Because there's a guy, I believe, following me through the store. So um, I waited there at the pharmacy and then the security guy came out and he walked me out to my car. And he said, I'll just stand here at the door. And as he, I turned around to tell him, thank you, I saw the guy. He was standing by cosmetics looking at me. And um, so I hurried up and got to my car and I told the security, well, before I went to my car, I told the security guard that the guy is standing over there by um, cosmetics. So I have no idea what this person had in mind or anything, but it was a very scary event for me. And, um, you know, so with that going on and these things happening, especially during this holiday season, I just wanted to make you guys aware to be, be, be weary of people following you maybe. Make sure you are, you got your eyes open. You know, we're so busy looking at our phones and messing with stuff. And another thing, with kids, my suggestion, and this was years ago, my girlfriend would always go to sh go shopping with her little daughter. And I told her, you should not be taking her shopping with you. I said, anybody could do something while you're paying attention to her. So my recommendation is, you know, if you're going to take your child to the store, take them when it's not really busy, like in the morning or something, where you can maybe focus a little bit more on what's going on around you. But going to stores in the evening with kids and stuff and all this, what is the trafficking going on? That's not a good thing to do. But I just want you guys to um, make it a habit of being safe, no matter if you're in your home, if you're out in the public, but be very, very aware of everything that is going on. And, um, you know, don't like when you're walking, don't walk with you talking on your phone. That's a key that you're really not paying attention to somebody who may be watching you. And when you're going to your car, make sure you are aware of your car and what's around your car when you get there, especially ladies with purses. And you know, I even had an incident one time, <laughs> it was so funny. A lay, I had my, this is probably why I don't carry a purse now. I had a purse and I had it sitting in the buggy and I was looking at some fruit or something. So this lady came up right by my buggy and she was, it was the way it looked. I looked back and it was like, that was her buggy. And I realized that's my purse. I said, excuse me, get away from my buggy. She was like, oh, oh, I was looking at the grapes or whatever. I was like, yeah, okay, well, you right there on my purse. And, you know, I got a little angry. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I, I get a little angry. It's just years ago before I calm myself down. <laughs> but no, seriously, that did happen. And, um, you know, I, I really don't, I think that's why when I go shopping, I have everything inside my coat pocket. I have like a pocket inside my coat. And I put my driver's license and my cards and my money in that pocket. So um, I think I do that. Well, I know I do it now because of safety reasons. I just hate carrying a purse because the last time I carried a purse, I actually forgot it at the register when I went to get my cards and stuff out of it. <laughs> I left it sitting right there at the register. And when I got to the car to get my keys out, that's when I realized I left my purse. So I went back and she said, yeah, I'm sorry, it was sitting right here. She said, and I just grabbed it and put it under the register. I said, thank you so much. I'm not even used to carrying a purse. <laughs> so um, that's why I say you guys just have to really, really be careful around this time. So um, I have given you guys um, a few tips, I hope, to make you aware of what's going on and be aware of your surroundings and, you know, at night, keep your porch light on. Um, I do anyway. I really do. I keep my porch light on all night because it's really dark over here and people can, you know, be on, sleep on your porch and nobody would know it because it's so dark over here. So I make sure I keep my porch lights on and um, make sure you check to see who's knocking at your door. If you have a peephole, peep through there. If not, look through a window. Ask who it is. Ask what they want. Do not op just open the door. And when you're out shopping, be aware of where you're at, what's around you, who's around you. Be make sure you have your um, 
guard up at all times just because you you just the way the world is going now people are struggling I mean, the prices of things are going up so high and people are looking for every opportunity they have and they can get to take something from someone else. So just be very aware of that. So um, I hope you guys have been enjoying my channel. I hope you guys have been enjoying uh, the videos I put out and I'm going to be doing another video soon where we're just going to just make some quick cookies or something just for the holidays. So you guys take care of yourselves. Stay blessed and please stay safe. And you know I love you. Bye-bye. Good boy. Cooper, where are you going? You going to visit the neighbors? Come on back here. Come here. Come here. You want to do some zoomies? You want to do some zoomies? Let's do zoomies. Here's the zoomies. <laughs>